Ron, night two for yourself at the Moda Super Series. How would you reflect upon the first evening's play? Uh, yeah, I think uh, very good. Uh, three times four, three. It's very close, very hard, but there's, that is three wins. So uh, I think uh, the first, first evening went very well, so I'm really pleased. You came in from Group B, especially in the Champions Week. How important is it to settle straight away, particularly when you've got players who would have played three days off the bat? Yeah, well, obviously I did my preparation as well. Played a few tournaments in, in Holland and obviously on the practice board. Uh, soon as I knew I was, uh, I was in, then uh, the practice came up. Made sure the flights, everything was okay. And uh, yeah, now I'm here and uh, I'm feeling good. When did you get the call to play here? I think it was about two, two and a half weeks ago. So I uh, got the call, I was in. So um, then straight away... Uh, arranged the business, I do it myself, and uh, after that, put the practice in and uh, sort everything out. And uh, yeah, feeling feeling quite comfortable to be fair. How did you find the night overall? Three wins from yourself, so you put yourself in a good stead to get through. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. Eh? You need to get points. Um, you have to play a good game because they're all uh, quality players. Um, so I managed to do that, but it can be different uh, overnight. So uh, you have to be focused and very sharp to, to get through tonight. I have to ask you about a game you played yesterday against Down Webster. There's been newspaper articles, there's been social media stories about an incident that happened in that particular match. From your perspective, what's happened and what do you think's happened to enable those stories or, or the stories that have been released? Yeah, I think it's a big clown show of Darren Webster. He uh, obviously was 3-0 up, he lost 4-3, moaning about everything. That's how we know him for all these years. Um, but the thing was, there was a little smell on stage, but because we were halfway through the, uh, the group, uh, you guys had a lot of more to talk about, so we had extra minutes. So the first 30 seconds, minute, uh, there was a, a little smell, but we came on stage and it was already there. So we didn't know what happened, but uh, I chose to be uh, focused on the dartboard and he, he was choosing about chatting and talking about it. And I didn't give him a response. So uh, he was talking to himself and to Charlie, he went like, if it's not me, it's not you, and then it's probably him. And then I was like, no, don't do this because I know how he can be. He's a dangerous player and I have to be focused, I have to be on my best to beat him. Uh, so I chose to no response at all, just uh, play darts. Um, then I, obviously I was 3-0 down, I win 4-3. Uh, that was already like more than 20 minutes past the, the smell he smelled. And obviously I smelled it, but it was so little and it was nothing. But he made it a big deal and then he pops on social media blaming me for everything. I think that is uh, it's unrespectful, I think that's not professional and he, I don't have respect for him at all anymore. What I do have is re uh, respect for the Motor Super Series, for everyone involved because um, they helped me uh, to today um, to say, well, don't worry about it, focus on your game, which uh, obviously I will do. Uh, but to there's a lot of, uh, I think it's more like abuse if you accuse something of something you don't even know and it's really not happened. Uh, it's all unprofessional, but well, it's, it's the big loser, loser uh, Darren Webster show and he showed uh, his true face uh, last night and I'm sorry for him because he got two, two times more experience than me. Uh, so he should know better, but uh, to be fair, we all know he doesn't know any better. And yeah, it's, it's sad, but uh, I have to play him tonight and I will be ready because he Again, a few hours ago, still going on about it. Uh, silly. So for clarification, the smell from your perspective or the perceived smell was before the game and not during the game? Yeah, it could be before the game because the first minute we already knew this, but then we had another six minutes practice starts or seven, and then we had another 15 minutes in the game. So there was nothing going on during the game, before the game, nothing. Uh, but obviously he was making a big deal out of it because he lost to a dart player who cannot play darts. So, obviously, there's been a lot that's been made. There's made national newspaper headlines over the course of the day. There's been a lot that's gone on on social media. From your perspective, how does that make you feel? And how do, has it changed any kind of preparation going into tonight? Um, that's, I think that's on me. Uh, I look at uh, professional this way. I work also for Dutch television. I play in big tournaments. Uh, people know you are, uh, or used to be, or going to be a big name in Dutch. You know, I do it for a long time. And... So I have to, you have to deal with these uh, circumstances. Uh, I know how to do it, but sometimes it's impossible. Uh, like this uh, last uh, day, um, um, people don't know. They assume because he's putting his mouth wide open. I chose to be respectful for the Motor Super Series, to shut my mouth, not go on social media and do what they expect me to do. Um, and I think I did that very well, but now we have to see. I have to play him again. I have to face him all day. Uh, it's it's yeah i don't uh, expect any excuses uh, from him because he's not 
like that. He's just a, a big kid and uh, I have to deal with that and I, I hope I can. Of course, we're in the middle of a big competition. The winner tomorrow night is going to win £20,000. Let's get back to the, the dart side of it because ultimately that is what we're here for. Going into tonight, form-wise, you look good. A couple of wins should be enough to get you into Saturday night's final. How massive an opportunity is this for yourself about a tour car? We saw you win a Challenge Tour last year. How would this compare to other competitions perhaps you, 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 you'd enter this year? Yeah, well, the thing is that uh, I've been through a lot the last few years. Um, I make some decisions, uh, quite recently some positive big decisions, um, and that's where I have to work with. Um, and it's, it's paying off, uh, not consistent enough yet, but I'm topping the 100 average, the 97s, when you can win good games with. Uh, that's for me very important. So I need to uh, look for the 83 averages at the, 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 the lower end uh, and make sure I get uh, more consistent. So, um, so if you want to go for a tour card, or if you want to be consistent in the Challenge Tour or in the Motor Super Series, um, you have to be more consistent and that's what I'm aiming for. And then I know I can be back where I want to be. Uh, I don't mind if it takes one or two years, um, as long as I see progression in myself, uh, keep competing with the best or the semi-best, um, yeah, then uh, I think I will be fine, but it's all, it's all mental and this hope, I hope that this will make me strong, stronger in a way, so uh, we'll see. Well, let's hope the darts do the tour tonight. Wish you all the very best. We're looking forward to watching you play on the hockey. One, all the very best. Thank you very much. Darren, here we go. Night two at the Moda Super Series. What was your overall assessment of night one? Um, all right, really, but not all right, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I just did it. It's a different day today, so we'll just carry on with today and see how we go. on. All about a fresh start for you this evening? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got no choice now, and I've got to win all four. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'll try. I always do, never give up. It's never over till it's over, but yeah. There was an incident in one of your games last night yeah. against Ron Moulinkamp. It's made newspaper headlines. There's been social media stories about it. From your perspective, what perceived to have happened? Um, we'll put it this way. He just done a few things that I didn't like. And that was it, really, at the end of the day, you know. I've always had that thing where, you know, you just go up there, you throw your darts, best man win of the night. And when people do certain things, they do it. But at the end of the day, if I do that, then I will not shake the hand. Never have done, never will. But I mean, at the end of the day, that was yesterday, today's another day, you know. I mean, you know, I got up there and the stage was stunk out and I think he kicked me at one point and he was standing there throwing a dart, moving left, moving right, I'm standing there going, oh, just throw your darts, you're too good not to do that, what are you doing this? But, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't like it and, um, yeah, you know, but today's another day, yesterday's history, today's another day, you know, I hold no grudges, no nothing. You know, never have done. I mean, we're dart players, aren't we, on the spur of the moment? You know, you put so much effort into it, don't you? Do you know what I mean? You pay money to come away, you practice for weeks on weeks, um, you know, you miss your family, and, you know, when someone tries to stop me playing darts, I don't like it. In terms of, obviously, the reaction on social media, the newspaper articles that were published, what do you make of them? I thought it was quite funny, really, because I thought that, you know, like I put on there, they just made a mountain out of a mule. I didn't even realise they'd done it, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, yes, um, you know, you got to have a bit of spurt in it, you? you know, a bit of fun, a bit of whatever. Um, but yeah, I can understand, you know what I mean? They just they just took over the top with it, don't they? At the end of the day, we had a little spit of dummy out last night between us, and um, that's the end of that. Today's another day, we'll all be trying in there. You know, you got some good players there, and it's got to be hard tonight. Um, and give myself a great start, but, you know, we'll still be fighting there at the end, till the end, till my last start go in. Always have done, always will. But I mean, as for yesterday, you know, I was walking under the bridge. Mm -hmm. that's, that's finished with and, uh, you know, just do people play the darts. Let's go back to the darts because that is ultimately yeah, 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 what yeah. we're here for yeah. this evening. For yeah. yourself, what do you think you've got to do to get yourself into tomorrow night? Just got to beat everyone in front of me and as simple as that. And if I don't, I'll go home. You know, lessons learned, but trust me, I will never give up, ever. Never have done, never will. I just got to know, get on that practice board, concentrate now, forget everything, and just get up there and try and play the best darts I can, because I've got to need it to beat these people. In some ways, it's going to be easier once you step on that hockey, because then you're just back in tunnel vision, aren't you? Well, that's it, you know. That is the problem, when, exactly like we're saying, you get in that tunnel vision, and when someone's taking you out of it, and you think, you know, I've been doing this a long time now, and that's happened quite a few people at times, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's happened to other people, not just me, and stuff like that, and... Um, Yes, you should deal with it better, 
and maybe I should have dealt with it better. But I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I, was, I felt I got put off and um, I'm not here to do that. I'm here to play darts, the best men win. I mean, you take Tom Sykes, you know, I mean, he played a great final, nice young lad. I missed a dart to go three and up, then I missed a couple of darts and he won because he played well. He didn't do nothing else, he played well. I shook his hand, told me he was brilliant. Even the game before between um, the guy, Reese, is it? Reese Colley. Colley. Yeah, he played superb against me. I got in the room, I went, oh, you played superb, eh, mate, well done. Perfect, don't bother me. But I'm just against things when they're not right, you know? And, um, yeah, I'm all not happy. <laughs> but obviously, like I said, dear, that's forgotten, no? that's, yeah. that's just these news. You know, we all, you know, we've got to concentrate on tonight and looking forward. And, um, you know, if I get through, I get through. If I don't get through, we've learned a few lessons and, um, you know, but we'll just never give up to the last hour, mate. That's what I'll do. We look forward to watching you on the hockey tonight. Yeah. Darren, good luck. Yeah, all right, mate. But I'll be a different mate, hopefully, tonight. <laughs>